Hey everyone, it's Jackie from Vegan Yak Attack and I'm back with a brand new recipe. And today's recipe is in the spirit of the warmer season and weather. I know in Vegas it has gotten very warm very quickly and I hope that where you're at has gotten a little bit warmer, maybe uh, defrosted and thawed you a little bit. So in the spirit of that, we're doing a little bit of a warmer weather, cooler dish recipe today. And that dish is my curried tofu lettuce cups. Yum. Uh, you can just make the curry tofu salad by itself if you want. That's actually what I did the other day. And I ended up just eating it all in one sitting because it was so good. And so I thought, how about I expand upon this and just throw it in some lettuce cups. Um, doesn't really matter what lettuce you have. I have butter lettuce today. Uh, and it's super easy. I actually used to work at Whole Foods for a little while. Um, this was a few years ago. They had a Beyond Chicken salad that was curried and it had currants in it and some other stuff. And I made it a few times for Chef's Case, uh, like the deli case that they have there. Um, and I'm, I was obsessed with it. It's been a long time since I've had it and I know that sometimes they still have it there. And the sauce I believe is pre-made. So I don't even remember all what was in it. Maybe. It's honestly been like since 2014. So, that being said, I wanted to recreate that. I actually used some yellow curry paste um, for the first version and it was really good, but I feel like not everyone has like an Indian or international market near them. So I went ahead and I'm going to use yellow curry powder for this recipe. Now you could do this in a really quick way that would involve no cooking, but since this is tofu and I wanted to give it a little bit more like oomph and texture. Um, we're gonna air fry it first in just a minimal marinade just to get some, some crispy edges on it to give it a little bit more bite uh, in the salad. More, not quite like chicken, but just a little bit more body than like soft tofu. Now, let's get started. Now, for the tofu, I'm trying something a little bit new today. Um, I want to give it a little seasoning, but not too much since the curry dressing, the mayo dressing for the salad is really flavorful. So what I'm going to do here to make sure that it's not too wet, I actually have firm tofu here that I've pressed and then cut into like half inch, three quarter cubes. Um, you can use extra firm tofu and just give it a light pressing if you need to. Uh, that'll kind of save you some time, but firm or extra firm will work. I have combined a half teaspoon of vegetable bouillon with a tablespoon, I'm gonna use the whisk for this, a tablespoon of water. You can also use vegan chicken bouillon for this as well. And we get a little bit of flavor without mm, too many herbs and things involved. And to help coat the tofu a bit, I'm going to add a little bit of oil to this, and this will also add to the crispiness in the air fryer. So we're going to whisk. Doesn't mean need to be totally emulsified, but mixed well. And because bouillon's pretty salty, I'm not gonna add any more salt to this because we'll add salt to the end product as well. Here we go. Just give this a quick toss. Nothing wild. Okay, you can always add like a little onion powder or garlic powder to this as well if you want the flavor to be a little bit stronger. And now, now we're going to transfer, transfer, transfer this tofu to my air fryer basket. This is for that KitchenAid air fryer. I still love it. The um, countertop oven. I probably got this marinade all over the place, but that's okay. So, and actually I'll link to that as well. If you need like a larger air fryer, I still love this thing. And I use the toaster function like every day. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Um, okay. So now we're going to put this in the air fryer at 400 degrees. I'm gonna do 15 minutes first. I think that will be more than enough time, um, but you never know. So 
I'll see you in 15. JK, I'm back. While the tofu is cooking, we're actually going to make the mayo marinade. And in this way, it gets a few minutes to kind of soak up the dry spices and everything and really bring that curry flavor from the yellow curry powder. So first we have some vegan mayo. I use Veginase here, a favorite in this household. And then we have some lime juice. Our yellow curry powder. And then some agave, and you can use this to taste, but it really balances all these savory and tangy flavors with a little sweetness. And then we'll add just a little bit of ground black pepper. And a pinch of salt for now. We'll probably add a little bit after everything is stirred together. And we'll whisk this up. until very smooth. And if need be, we can always add a little bit more vegan mayo. Um, I just know with veginase, it kind of breaks, so it gets a little looser once you stir other things into it. But with that powdered, or that yellow curry powder, it should thicken up just slightly. And we'll set that aside until the tofu is ready. All right, the tofu is done in the air fryer. And you see we have like a little give, but a little crunch. Hopefully this comes off decently easily. A little bit more crunch on the bottom. If you want to enjoy this salad cold, which is how you would typically eat it, like if you were, you were getting it out of the deli case, um, you know, just let the tofu cool down before adding it to the mixture. But in this case, I kind of like the like in-between of like the nice cool lettuce and the like slightly warm once it's all mixed together tofu salad mixture. My cat is going absolutely nutso in the background. Okay. Oh, this is burning my hand. part that is not in the whole food salad, uh, I actually like the addition of cabbage. This is what I added the other day because I made too much sauce for the tofu. And I was like, shoot, uh, I don't want just like soupy tofu salad. And I had some cabbage and I thought it was a really nice addition, nice and crunchy, um, gives a little bit more body and some more um, mass, I guess, uh, which I guess would be the same as body. And even though we have lettuce here, it adds some more veggies to the mix. So we're going to add this shredded white or green cabbage in here. You could use red cabbage too, that would probably be fine. And then we have a little slivered red onion. You can add, you know, just as much as you want. Uh, I know some people are a little picky about onion. And then here is uh, what people may, maybe would not be um, super into, but is so good in this is in the Whole Foods case, it's currants that they use, dried currants. In this case, I've got some raisins on hand, so I'm going to add those in because I really liked those the other day when I made it. And then we have some fresh cilantro, so we'll go ahead and add some of that in. Oh, how are we getting the onion skin in there? Okay, now, we can give this a gentle toss. Mmm, look at all these pretty colors. And then, like I said, we can add a little bit more salt now. And adding that salt, like you would to any like coleslaw, since there's cabbage in here, is going to draw some of the moisture out of the cabbage. So it will make it a little bit more saucy even. 
Mmm. Mmm. Smells so good. Just flicking it everywhere. All right, let's add that little bit of salt, maybe like a quarter teaspoon. Again, this is crystal salt, so it's uh, not as like concentrated or dense as sea salt. I mentioned that in my last video, which was for a very delicious casserole, if you missed it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna get a fork and test this out really quickly before we plate it up. Another little stir toss. My mouth is watering very profusely. Mmm. That's really good. And actually, I think I'm gonna add just a touch more agave to this. Mmm. A lot of savory flavors. A little sweet, so, so good. And even now, you could chill this, let it cool down a little bit. Um, if you wanna serve it as kind of like a tea time appetizer or snack, whatever, you know, prep ahead. And then that way you can just pull it out with your lettuce cups, it's nicely washed. You always wanna wash lettuce really well and um, you know, serve it that way. But again, like I said, I like it a bit warm as well. So I'm going to, should I'll just make one right here. I was gonna get a little plate, but you know what? We're here now. Let's get a little messy. Here we are. Get some more of that tofu. Mmm, look at that. You got a nice protein rich, uh, either you can make this an entree for like two people or an appetizer probably for like four to six if you just want to have a lettuce cup each. And again, this is butter lettuce, but you can use romaine. You can use even chard if you just want to like cut off a little piece of it. Um, if you use kale, I would massage it first since it is such a coarse and bitter green and so that'll help, but butter lettuce is probably one of my favorites for this kind of thing. All right. And let's get a bite. <laughs> We've got tofu on the roll over here. Mmm. So good. And it probably would be better if you just let it sit for a bit and really marinate, marinate like you would like a good potato salad or coleslaw. And that's it. That's how easy the recipe is. If you'd like the printable version of this recipe, you can go to my website, veganyakattack.com. The link is in the description for you. And you can print it out there, like I said, save it for later, pin it, whatever you want. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I'll see you next time. Misa, what are you doing? Okay, baby, just hold on. I'm almost done.